All right, doing pretty good on everything so far. Um, unfortunately, so encumbered. I, I wanted to head down to the uh, the lakeside cabins, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry that much gear back with me. Eh, you know what? We'll make it work. They're right there. We'll head there, then we'll cut to the right. We'll stop at the trailers by the logging area. And um, we'll head back to the Quonset garage, drop everything off that we have. And by that point, I'm pretty sure the biggest part of this challenge that's left is just finding a rifle. And if I'm super, super lucky, there'll be one up in the, uh, the Overwatch Tower. Overwatch, Overlook Tower, which is... Um Right there, you can kind of see it in the middle of your screen. I'm looking right at it, right there. And if I if I can get that um, if I can get that rifle there and and like seven or eight more rounds of ammunition, I think I can beat this challenge strictly in coastal highway. Maybe if I can find enough lantern oil to go along with it. Because we've already got the hatchet, we've already got the lantern, we've already got a ridiculous amount of food. Food, maybe, we'll be a little short on. Not 100%. Worst case scenario, I can hop, skip, and jump my way to uh, Desolation Point. Grab a few things there and come back. Uh, let's see. We've, we've checked all the houses um, over there by the garage. We've checked the house on the uh, Misanthropes Island. We just checked the Jackrabbit Island house. Uh, checked two different fishing huts three now. We'll check that one. We'll check all those houses. We'll check the trailers that are right there behind that big rock across the lake. And then I'm probably going to make my way up and check um, check uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, this will come in handy. the tower I was just talking about. It seems to be the agreed upon plan within my, between my brain cells as they battle amongst one another. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot out of these houses. So I'm not going to be too terribly encumbered on the way back. I hope. But we'll see. I don't think... I don't think that any of these cabins have bathrooms. So I'm not going to get any water out of them. And that's going to be the thing that would weigh me down. And there's no toilets in the trailers over there either. So, it's just going to be probably random things of food that I find and take back. But, uh, there should be a trailer somewhere in this general area. The trailer that leads up to the trail. That then feeds back up to, um... What is it? Pleasant Valley? The cave system that goes to Pleasant Valley, I think. All of that and more. Eventually. What's the weather outlook for today? Nothing. They're giving no weather at all. It's supposed to be normal. Now, I don't know if that means there still won't be blizzards, because we did get like a two or three hour long blizzard uh, on day one at the very end of the day, or towards the end of the day, even though it wasn't on that calendar. So I'm wondering if the blizzard days on that calendar I just looked at are like guaranteed like day-long blizzards or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't done this in forever. What I should do is, while letting her warm back up, is I should try to repair an article of clothing or two, um, I guess, even though I wasn't too crazy about repairing my clothing yet because I kept thinking oh, I'll find something better so I don't want to repair it then just you know repair it and then just toss it which seems kind of like a waste of time you know but I did want to try to repair the shoes a little more hour and a half will probably fail even though we have a 70% chance no all right I could try it drink almost anything about I now could try it again but I'm gonna wait um, let's eat a little bit of food real fast and then keep going. I 
I never even considered cabin fever being an issue. It's probably not going to be an issue, but you never know. I am spending most of my time just indoors, hopping from house to house to house to house. Which that may... That may add up. Uh, at the end of the week... <clears throat> at the end of the week, which is when cabin fever would actually go into effect, I think, you know, after you've been inside... I think you get cabin fever if you've been indoors an average of 18 hours a day over the course of seven days in a row. That's what causes the affliction to set in. So I need to be aware of that. If possible. Oop, two sodas. Hell yeah. Give me them. Give me them sodas. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Couldn't tell you the last time I had a grape soda or an orange soda. I don't know. I got the little uh, shirts already. technically better but also they technically weigh more again I'm still gonna I don't need another one of those I'm still going for the whole uh, lightweight clothing run so I'm not even gonna take those wool socks I've already got one pair and they're weighing me down they're not really but I'm going for very 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 lightweight and very fast and then the sacrifice that I'm having to make with that is obviously warmth and windproof bonuses but that's okay. I would rather be fast and jumping between areas than I would be slow and um, warm. Because I don't plan on being stuck outside very much if I have anything to say about it. Alright, let's check this last cabin. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ooh, peaches, dog food. Metal container with probably nothing in it. Yep. Locked locker. Random cooler with some water. I've already got three accelerants. I'm not going to take another one. Another soda. All right. No rifle. No. Nope. All right. Okay, we're done. Let's get our butts back on the road. And the wind is actually blowing in the direction I need to go, kind of. So that's amazing. I don't actually have to fight it the whole way back to the garage. Alright. So now we just have a decent bit of walking ahead of us. We have to walk straight ahead all the way back around to the garage on this road. It'll take a minute. Because I believe the garage is kind of straight ahead of us in that direction. I already checked that. I could sprint. Um, that that's option. That's an option. But if I sprint, I'm gonna get tired quicker. If I get tired quicker, then that's just less time I have to go out and about and look for things and, and scavenge and whatnot. And there really probably isn't a rush at all. We have 30 days to get everything we need. But I'm kind of sort of challenging myself. In a way, I guess I want to see how fast I can do this. I want to see, you know, can I can I do it in 10 days? Can I do it in maybe 15 days, you know? How many days did it take me the first time I tried this, you know, five, six years ago? I don't remember. It's been that long, and I haven't gone back and watched the videos. But if I had to guess, I would say I probably had at least 10 days left. I'm, I'm not sure. That's locked. There's a rifle cleaning kit on the uh, dashboard there. I guess I'll grab it, but I doubt that I will use it. This stuff will come in handy. Wait a minute, that might be better than this. It is. Cool. All right, another good article of clothing we swapped out. I don't know why this doesn't stay on this setting. It keeps going back to A to Z. I keep putting it on. I keep putting it on uh, quality or condition and every time I open my inventory it seems like it reverts or maybe it's every time I oh hello wolf I didn't see you back there it seems to revert back to it when I may be searching something I am not 100% sure ah 
just sneezed my brains out. Really am not feeling a hundred percent. But normally when I play this game, I, I feel better after I play it. I, I just kind of get some general sort of, I don't know, contentment and happiness from playing The Long Dark. It's, it's not a very stressful game. I mean, it's a little stressful, but it's not terribly. It's more relaxing than it is anything else. I guess I'm kind of just, I'm just kind of uh, monologuing and talking about whatever comes into my brain at this point. But fun fact, um, I am 31 years old, but I've always wanted, and I guess I still could, I've always wanted to be a, um, a park ranger. Or maybe not even necessarily a park ranger, but a, a person who, whose job for a living is working on a national park or working at a national park you know even if my job is just maintenance or something you know going around and trimming trees and and you know mowing the grass you know spreading mulch it's just like i i live so 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 close to a state park like literally 10 minutes down the road a very beautiful state park and i've always loved going to it and walking it and and there's it, it's just amazing and for some reason, I've always thought it would be cool, you know, to be a park ranger or something of, along those lines. Um, and of course, you know, there's probably certain prerequisites or qualifications that they would want you to have to even work there at all. Much less, you know, all the stuff you, that you would probably have to go into in order to be a ranger. Because I think park rangers carry weapons, you know, like a rifle or a, a pistol and all that. So there's there's probably a lot of, uh, of red tape uh, involved. But it's still something that, you know, maybe, maybe in a different life when, you know, when I'm not such a, an apathetic, lazy, you know, more or less just kind of a piece of shit where I'm just like, oh, I got a job I'm okay with and I'm, I'm happy with the job I have, so I'm just gonna, you know, just bear with it, and who cares, and that kind of thing. If, if I was more ambitious, and and if I could, like, you know, talk it into myself and be like, you know, you only have one life, and you're spending it, you know, doing something that you don't hate, but you don't love, um, uh, that's a much, much, much better Storm Lantern. One hour, ugh, okay, fine. So, yeah. Um, th this game kind of resonates with me, I guess, because of that. It's, it's, um, oh my, I have 44 sticks. Holy shit. How many do I need? I only needed 22. Um, no wonder I'm encumbered as hell. Um, nom, 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 nom. wait, no, not that. Let's just drop 20. There we go. So yeah, I, I don't know why I felt the need to, to, go on about that um but i thought it was a neat tidbit and it, it kind of explains why i really like this game so much I mean, obviously there's very large discrepancies between the long dark and um a national park like what you would find in kentucky uh the biggest one being all the fucking snow <clears throat> but if you look past that and you just kind of embrace the nature aspect of it, then maybe you can understand why I, I really love games like this. Um, where it's just, you know, like, look at it. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm not going on that, because that, that's a dead end. That's a dead end uh, coal mine. that probably has nothing in it. But yeah, I mean, you know, the game's relaxing, it's beautiful, and it's one of those fun loot goblin games where you kind of want to just collect supplies and forage, and the, the enemies aren't really like your typical zombies or other players, it's, it's, it's the, it's the very same thing that I find so beautiful. It's, it's nature itself, it's, it's the wolves and the bears and the moose, and the blizzards out of nowhere that could freeze you to death and kill you within like five minutes if you're stuck outside and if you get lost and don't know where you are. So, I don't know. It's just a weird, uh, it's a weird mixture of both things that really make it just an amazing game. 
And I like talking about it, apparently. I like, I like talking about a lot of things, because it's, you know, it's 3 a.m., I work tomorrow, I should be in bed within the next, you know, 30 minutes, I should be in bed already, but instead, I'm, I'm, I'm strung up on, like, soda, and I'm bored, so I wanted to play this, and I started this challenge, like, an hour and a half ago, and now I'm just talking, and you're listening, whoever you are, all two of you that are watching. Not that, uh, you know, I expect viewers or anything. S Seth and I never really expected the channel to be anything. We, uh, you know, we were, we were just two uh, high schoolers, and we were like, hey man, let's make a YouTube channel, and if we ever record stupid-ass videos or play games and stuff like that, we can upload them, and maybe somebody will watch them, and, you know, that's exactly what this is. It's just, it's too dumbass Kentucky guys, you know, playing video games in what spare time they have and hitting the record button while they do it and then, you know, running their mouths in an attempt to create some form of commentary all the while. And then we upload them and, you know, some of them get 10 views, some of them get 50, a couple of them get a few hundred or thousand and, and uh, that's the beginning and the end of it all. The market, obviously, is, you know, hilariously oversaturated. Every, 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 uh, person in the world with an internet connection has a YouTube channel or a podcast or something like that, you know. I, I think I even heard a fact about it, that 2023, on average, every day, there were, like, 2,000 or something podcasts created, not even like uploaded, because obviously there's more than that, but created. Every day there were two different, 2,000 or so podcasts started for every day of the year. So, I mean, that's ridiculous. 2,000, I mean, 10 days, that's 20,000, so that's 60,000 a month, and whatever 60,000, oh, that's 600,000, and then what, 720,000 podcasts, um, all within the span of one year, if those numbers are even halfway right. That's, that's kind of fucking crazy. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, the thing is full. Uh, I can't put any more food in here. Okay, I need two food lockers then. So, give me... I, if I take this out... And after it spoils, I don't get credit for the calorie count, so I need to leave that in there. So, I think I'm just gonna... I'm pretty sure that's how that works, anyways. Okay, so that's full now. I can't, I can't put anything, anything else in there. So, let's do this now. All right, where are we at? We got 10 days out of 15 days of food. We have almost all the water we need. We got the hatchet on our person and the lantern on our person. I've probably got most of the rifle rounds already. Nope, I have three. I don't have... <laughs> I am 30% of the way there. I uh, don't have the rifle. I can make the bandages easy. I've got the sticks. I'm glad I saw that because I totally would have forgot about them. Let's get the sticks out of here. Boom. And we'll put some of the firewood in here as well. There we go. So, uh, sticks, check. Uh, need a little bit more wood, but that's okay. Wood's not a problem. I can cut that up later. Tinder. Uh, oh, I need a bunch of tinder. Seriously? I wasn't even picking that up. And you can make tinder out of sticks, so uh, I just need more sticks or newspapers or something. Um, let's see, back in this, let's drop some more stuff off, that, that, uh, I'll drop off that, and that, right, and that, I don't know why I even picked up the, uh, revolver ammo, to be honest with you, okay, lantern fuel, 
lamp oil. 0.4 out of 1.3. Seriously? That's all that's in there? Point... Wait, what? Point 0.4? That's 1.5. 1.7. That's 3. That's 3.9. That's 4.1. That's... I don't know if that's right, but... Hang on. Is that seriously right? It should say zero now. Zero out of 1.3. Okay, so it is it is counting it. I, I don't feel like it's counting it accurately, but maybe my math is off, so... Yeah, whatever. Alright, what's weighing me down so much? I still got a lot of something on me here. Uh, probably the clothing. That's food, that's food, so the clothing's gonna go... Actually, I'll just... I'm not gonna have any clothing on me. So I'll just drop that and that we'll leave the we'll leave the boots over here just in case we need them later uh, only got seven pounds of clothing what is weighing me down so much i guess it's this i got 11 pounds there yeah i guess it is the uh the lantern and the axe and the bedroll are all three probably all the weight okay that's fine i suppose Uh, man, the sun's going down. What do I want to do here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Do I want to go to Desolation Point? I think I do. Yes? Uh, I don't know. Mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I should probably just stay the night here and in the morning head out. That would probably be the smart move. I got all my food and stuff here anyways, so I can, I can I can eat up and then go to bed. So let's let's just do that. Let's pass some time and then we'll just go to sleep. And we'll head out in the morning when it's absolutely freezing cold. At the coldest part of the day. Sounds like a blizzard kicked up outside anyway, so it's probably for the better. But see, okay, my brain stopped working. Why why did I not repair clothing just then? Why didn't I do that instead of just playing solitaire on the floor? Because I need I need more food. I mean I need I do I need more food. I need more clothing than I do I need better I need to repair my clothing better than I do just pass time playing cards. Alright, that's probably fine. Where's the bed? I know it's here. There it is. Alright, I don't th think we're gonna sleep all night. It's probably gonna be early morning if it is anything at all. Yeah, sun's just barely starting to come up. Alright, give me... Just give me like two, two cans of soda. That'll be fine. Alright, let's hit the road. I can't see shit. I think there's a door over here, though. Here we go. Alright, it's gonna be cold as balls out here. That's a bear. That's a bear. Oh, yeah, that's a bear. Okay, well, you know what? That makes my decision easier. I'm going this way. What's the temperature like? Negative 18. Wonderful. Absolutely fantabulous. So, we do not have very long at all to find the cabins up here, which I think I remember where they are. Um, they're not exactly close, but I don't think they're terribly far away either. I don't think they are? 
I don't remember exactly where they are. It's been a minute since I've been in Pleasant or Pleasant Coastal Highway, to be honest with you. Well, I'll tell you what, if we don't find them. We're definitely gonna we're gonna feel the burn and not the hot kind of burn. The you're freezing to death because you're so cold, hot burn. I don't think they're right here though. I think they're I think they're right there. I think they're right above right above me. I'm pretty sure. I think. I think this loops around and the cabins are right up there. Or there's there's at least two cabins, maybe three. I can't remember. But we need to get to them rather soon, lest we die of cold. Death by cold. I wonder if I can just go this way. I'm starting to feel numb. Or is this too steep? It's probably too steep. I'm probably gonna trip and twist my ankle because of the steepness. On my luck. Uh, nope. Oh, there they are. Perfect. Well, that worked out wonderfully. Look at us traversing. Alright, how many of these are actually accessible? Three. Perfect. Let's go inside and warm up. And pull out the lantern because we can't see anything. There we go. Energy bar. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Dead guy. Uh, fishing hook. Bandage on the ground. Empty corpse. These cabins appear to be lame. Quite lame. I'll take it. Lantern fuel we do actually need. Guess that's it. Alright, let's go to the other two. Maybe they'll have a little more, uh, a little more in them as far as supplies. If we're lucky. Alright, let's see. Nothing under the bed. Condensed milk. Pinnacle peaches. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Container with nothing in it, basically. Newsprint. I'm tempted to start holding on to this just because of all of the tinder that I'm going to have to make. And it doesn't weigh much, so it'd probably be fine. I don't want the purification tablets. Yeah, I'm going to actually... I'm going to hang on to all the stacks of paper. And um, we'll make tinder out of them later. I don't believe it'll take that long. Ooh, the sun's coming up. It's pretty. A uh, long wool scarf. What's that weigh? I can use this. 0.55. Yeah, it weighs more. It's it is going to be better than those toques at full at full condition, but uh Yeah, I'm 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 sticking to my guns. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to continually only pick up the worst clothing, basically. Or the lightest clothing, I guess. Well, they're synonymous. Nothing. Newspapers. Nope. Candy bar. Uh, Alright, we need to warm up. It's way too cold. Um, so, while we're waiting to warm up, let me just craft some tinder. It's one hour. That'd be fine. Alright. Man, we're still not all the way warmed up. Uh one hour. You get you get a one hour power nap. Use that bed warmth bonus to speed up the 
the warming process. There we go. Let's just... Uh, I think it's pretty windy. I, I don't know if it's bad, but it sounds like it's a little windy outside. Yeah, it is. Oof. Feels like negative 32. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, there's a backpack over there. God, look how fast. Look how fast our, our temperature is going down. My God. Burr, indeed. It's cold as hell. Which is definitely an oxymoron. There should be a trailer somewhere back over here. I was hoping to check out, but I don't know if I should just abandon that and go for the tower or not. I'm, my gut says yes, but I think it'll be okay if we go for the trailer. I just have to find it. There it is. Straight ahead. I just saw the roof. You can barely see the roof of it right next to that tree straight ahead of us. Up against that rock wall. I think. That or I'm crazy. We would be doing a lot better if my clothing was all... Like, if all of this clothing was up to, like, 80 or 90%, that warmth bonus would be more closer to 30 degrees than it would 16. But I just... I can't... Well, I can. I just haven't brought myself to, you know, the point where I'm, like, willing to sit down and waste a whole day with a sewing kit repairing cl clothing. I'd rather just keep moving and scavenging and not wasting time for the challenge. So, I don't know. Maybe I should, but... Alright. What do we got? I guess I could break down some clothing in here if I find it. Or maybe a, a bed sheet or something. I, I can't break down the pillow, um, unfortunately. Ooh, can opener. Wait, I already had a can opener, didn't I? Yeah, what am I doing? I need two can openers. How many tender do I have? 14, and I needed... 25. Okay. Take those pants, break them down, and... Take those mittens and break them down, and maybe we can kill a little bit of time and warm ourselves back up. There's a hammer that we don't need. Not making, uh, not gonna be making arrowheads or anything, so that's not gonna be an issue. Let's see, harvest. One cloth? You're gonna get one piece of cloth out of an entire pair of cargo pants? What are you doing with the rest of the leather or denim? Just eating it? Oh my god. Oh, that's a better set of gloves. There we go. We'll break down the old gloves. Our warmth going up a little bit over there. Let's see if we can try to repair the windbreaker, which is definitely more important than the socks. I can't believe we haven't failed a repair yet. That's that is shocking to me. All right, we're warm. Clothing is a little better now. Uh, let's head up here and see if we can get to the watchtower. Only concern with there maybe being a wolf up here that's going to be waiting for us. We'll have to try to sidestep or deal with one way or another. I don't have any weapons. I haven't picked up anything. I haven't even been picking up stones. Um, and I don't have any flares either. I left the flares back at the garage. I didn't see any point carrying them. 
now that I have a lantern. So, truly, truly, truly have nothing to fight back with against wolves outside of just the terrain itself. Which is quite effective if you can just get on a rock or something where they can't reach you, then they'll just run away. I swear to God, I, I thought I was hearing footsteps over there. I thought I heard one or two little, like, sounds that sound like wolf footstep sounds, but I'm probably just imagining. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad I was imagining things. Alright, so, ideally, if there's a rifle up here, this challenge is over. If there's not, then things are going to get interesting. Because that's the only real concern I have left, is just the rifle. And I'm thinking it would be more wise of me to go to Pleasant Valley than it would be to Desolation Point. I don't have a lot of faith in Desolation Point having a rifle, but it's closer, it's quicker, it's definitely easier to run through and loot, and it's got like four big locations I can check. It's got the, the shipwreck, the lighthouse, the abandoned church, and the, uh, the, the whale yard or whatever it's called the the, the whaling location it also has the cave system too there's there's like five really good locations that have loot in them but i don't think there's going to be any of them that have a rifle unless i'm really lucky but it would take much longer to go back through here well it wouldn't take that much longer go through that cave system come out, um, where does that come out at? That comes out, yeah, up the hill from the road, just above, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Um, ah, that little community center, I can't think of the name of it. The community center that they added in Pleasant Valley, um, for the story mode that actually got put in the sandbox. Like, something's... Ah, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. That's bugging me. It's been a hot minute, so I just don't remember, I guess. Oh, well, it's no big deal. We'll, uh, we'll probably end up going there anyways and figuring it out together. Alright, big money. Big money, big money. Is there a random... Hunting knife? There is. Okay. I was going to say, is there a random hunting knife up here by chance? Stuck on the balcony. And there was. Let's close the door. I do not see a rifle. I do see rifle ammunition, though. So that's at least something. We got tomato soup. We got peaches. Got nothing. That. More rifle ammo. That's probably got us close to ten. Yeah, we got eight now. Um, and more reclaimed wood. Random note that you don't really have to worry about if you're doing just a challenge. I was really hoping for a, well, a rifle, obviously, but a, um, a mountaineering rope, to be honest. Thompson's Crossing. Haha. <laughs> I I was I was racking my brain desperately to remember the name. You know what? We're already up here. Let's just go. Let's just go over there and I'll drop some stuff off right at the entrance of the cave and we'll just we'll head uh we'll head on over to Pleasant Valley. It's probably quicker and it's definitely gonna be more loot heavy, I think, than Desolation Point. Of course, it is much bigger an area than Desolation Point, so I guess that goes without saying. But I'll drop off some stuff at the uh, at the entrance of the cave. But I can loot. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is, if I don't find a rifle, I, I'm gonna go all the way to the radio tower. I'm gonna go 
I'll, uh, I'll go through Thompson's Crossing, check everything there. I'll go to the farmstead, the homestead. I'll go to the, I'll go to the barn, and then I'll go to the radio tower. And if none of those places have a rifle, then I'll go from the radio tower through the cave real quick and step on over to um, the Carter Hydroelectric Dam and check for Vaughn's rifle and see if it's there uh, where it normally spawns. If, if, if I don't get a rifle by that point, then uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I really want to keep searching in Mystery Lake or not. We'll see what happens. I, I really don't know what the winning move is at this point. I do know that I want to drop off some stuff right here, though. I don't want to be uh, terribly encumbered with a bunch of stuff. So let's do that. I'm down to 31 pounds. Ooh, sure getting cold. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Goddamn. Um, just to save on lantern fuel, I guess I'll burn a flare if it's right here. All right. The smart thing would honestly be to uh, loot all this on the way back through. So I don't have to just carry more stuff with me, but I'm not terribly encumbered yet, so I guess we won't. I don't. I, I don't really know the best way to do this. I'm. I'm just kind of. I'm just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it well. All right, let's just keep going. It's a dead end. I'm really, really counting on Thompson's Crossing hooking me up. Not gonna lie. Really, really hoping that Thompson's Crossing has a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Maybe a stim pack wouldn't be too bad. How many sewing kits do I have? Two. Okay, that's fine. A bandage. I mean, you know, really, if you wanted to make this hilariously easy, I suppose a guy could just bum rush his ass to Timberwolf Mountain, climb up to the top of the mountain real fast, and you would have literally everything that you would need at the top of Timberwolf Mountain. All you would have to do is find a hacksaw, and then you would have all the best clothing, all the food, all the resources. I mean, well, you couldn't carry it all back down with you, but, you know... It would all be there. You could you you could get the main supplies and a majority of the like really lightweight and efficient food. And then as long as you're under the the limit of your carrying capacity, you could uh. You, you'd probably, you would probably be wise to stay up there for three days or stay fed. It's so tempting to take that. Stay fed for three days and then um. Get an extra ten pounds of carrying capacity. There's some fuel. Hell yeah. I'm probably going to drop that on the ground um, before we right when we leave this cave and I'll pick it up. <clears throat> I'll pick it back up on the way back through in a few days or however long it takes to get back here. There's, there's just no point in carrying more and more stuff with me all the way through uh, all the way through Pleasant Valley when I'm really just going this way for a rifle and nothing else. There might be a thing or two in these other passages, but probably not. And even if there is, it's probably not worth the effort. There's some rifle ammo. I am going to step down that other passage up here and grab that. That'll... <coughs> That'll have the rifle ammo um, 
taken care of. I know we've already got nine or eight or nine, and that'll probably be five rounds, so all we're missing now is the rifle. Tools, no thanks. Stem, yes. Rifle ammo, yes. Chocolate bar, yes. All right, so that's got us up to 14 rounds. So we're done. We're done with the rifle ammo. We literally, to beat this challenge at this point, just need a rifle, and everything else is more or less already back at the base or in the area around the base as far as firewood and all that. So. We're looking good. All right, um, some leather, cotton, accelerant. Uh, nothing I need, but while we're here, let's do this and this and that. Keep all the food on me, I guess. Drop, drop. No extra clothing. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it's. It's, you know, about five, seven pounds of gear that I don't have to plug with me. Alright, I guess I'll call it here, actually, and we'll continue on in the next episode.